Hello everybody and welcome back to Risk of Rain 2 Survivors of the Void. We are going to be trying out today the new game mode, Simulacrum. I actually haven't even attempted this yet. Play a wave-based arena mode that takes place inside of a void simulation. Intriguing. I don't really know what that means. I've not seen anything about this, but of course, the tried and true Railgunner. Um, we're going to be going in and executing. I don't know how we change our difficulty. It says... Uh, Drizzle, uh, Normal, and Monsoon, but we're just playing... I, I've, I've got my difficulty set to Normal, so... Oh, here we go. Okay, I was a bit confused then. Anyways, yeah, we're just gonna jump in as the Railgunner again. I want to try and unlock this guy. Apparently getting to wave 50 in Simulacrum will unlock the character. I don't know how achievable that is on your first time. I'm gonna guess not very. Oh, okay. So this is like the... Uh, yeah, okay. This is like the, the other void areas you can go into where there's essentially a safety bubble and items along the way, but if you move out of it, you're going to take damage over time. Okay, I like that. We can bin begin the wave, defeat all the enemies. Oh, hello. I don't know how close enemy spawns was. Okay, so it's uh, it's released us, but you can see you can see there's still a um, area around this. So let's open this bad boy up. Wait, I can't afford this yet. Okay, we, we gain money pretty damn slowly in this mode. Okay, last few enemies remaining. By the looks of it, they've got like a little sort of dot around them. So I'm assuming this means they're the last remaining. Oh, there's even items outside of the void area. Next wave. Okay. This is really cool. I like I, I actually think I could I could find myself playing this mode more than the regular mode. I really like this. It's just a bit faster paced. Game starts off a bit quicker. What the game kind of needed. So what's this we got over here? Collapse void potential. Is that what it said or did it say void portal? It might have said void portal. Remember, I can't read. So this is wave two, right? So let's let's try this. Oh, okay, I see, I see. So I think at the end of each wave, we get one of those that we can use to uh, gain other items. Now, one thing I'm noticing about this area, there's a lot of pitfalls. As in, like, it's very easy to knock enemies off the edge. I am getting somewhat overwhelmed. This character doesn't seem great for this, uh, this mode, just because it's very close range. But nonetheless, I'll stick with it, right? So, yeah, money is uh, is is very hard to come by, by the looks of things. Okay, so we get another one of these things. And we can pick an item. I think we'll just go with Tri-Tip Dagger this time around. I like this. This is good. Yeah, money's very scarce. Okay, so I don't know if this... So, I'm, I'm imagining at a certain wave we're going to get a boss... Then after the boss, we move to a different area in this map, like this bubble moves. Because there's clearly stuff over there. Uh, so I'm imagining we get access to everywhere. Unless it's just like, we're going to get opportunities to go back, but we ultimately have to come back here. So yeah, placing one of these down, going to knock enemies all over the place. God damn it. <laughs> so I don't know what this does to us. Oh god, we're dead. <laughs> um... Okay, so we'll, we'll continue again. It seems as though it holds your momentum when you uh, <laughs> when you fall off. That's not great. Anyways, one sec. Right, let's give it another go. Also, just got to say, I was just messaging someone. Uh, that's why I paused. The music is so chilled. Okay, I'm still going to stick with this character because it's the new character. I really want to play this, uh, this, this guy like as much as possible right now. We definitely got a different area to start this time obvious. I, I, I have to say, I love this mode. This is already, like, so cool. Also, I do think it's kind of a good idea to play the Railgunner to get used to close-range snipes. What remains? Oh, what the fuck is that? A big flying whale. That's so cool. This is awesome. I don't say, is there another enemy that we're going to be fighting here or not? We definitely need some, like, stuff for killing big enemies a little faster. 
You managed to one shot that guy though. All right, so we can pop this and definitely get Turpaz Brooch. It's gonna give us a shield when we damage things. Ooh. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try and take the Flintlock here because that's gonna insta-kill a boss and give us a bot item for the pleasure of doing so. And I, I'm very much in, interested in that. I don't know how well Rusted Key would function in this area. Ah, oh, yeah, I gotta say, I don't know if there's gonna be like new stages as in like the normal game where once you defeat the boss, it's gonna take you to an entirely new environment or we're just gonna progress through this one environment because this might be like a really huge environment. I can go up on the walls and get back to that stage I was just at or they might be two completely different areas. I really don't know. At least from what I'm seeing, though, these are new bespoke areas for this mode. I don't recognize them. Like I said, there is some stuff I've missed in previous updates, so it's also possible that I just don't know about this area. But it seems new. Awesome, we get another one of these. Um, definitely more damage to bosses. That's going to be really good. We can almost afford the flintlock. A lot of items about. Wow. A lot. I kind of understand why money's so scarce now. Cause it, it gives you a lot of choice, but not really the means to get everything. So I'm, I'm guessing items that reward you with money, like the term and the roll of pennies, are going to be very valuable in this mode. Because maybe as the ways progress, I might end up getting like a ridiculous amount of money. But right now, it's not too much. Really don't. I really don't want to be using my concussion blasts almost at all anywhere near the edges of the map like if it's like if it's like a little bit sort of like that then it's fine but like near the edge of the map it's very very bad idea i want to be trying to get criticals here i want to be trying to be yeah yeah so near this whenever it finishes definitely go with lens makers i should have maybe taken the movement speed there but oh well Right, so we'll grab that. This is really good. This thing allows you to instantly kill a boss. And when you do so, it also drops that boss's specific item. So we can either save it for a specific boss or just use it for an easy kill. I don't know when the bosses will come within this area. The good thing about this character, at least in the early game, we don't really need items to be strong. I think other characters kind of do. Whoa, what the hell are these? Little beetles. I'm going to try and use my SMG a little more here because I feel like I'm uh, not really using that enough. Also, disperse the enemies a little bit via that. Because these, these guys are pretty tough. I'm taking quite a lot of damage from them so far. I keep using the wrong skill here. Whoopsie. Excuse me, sir. Just seem to be stuck. Roll of pennies. That's, there you go. That's the sort of thing. I know that uh, crowbar there could have been really good, but I think getting money on hit seems pretty valuable. Boss wave. Enemies are much stronger. Okay, we, we've just lost a lot of health very quickly here. What the hell is that thing? There's a lot of stuff that I don't understand right now. Right, let's uh, let's get a get a feel for our surroundings first and die. Wow, this this mode is hard. Okay, so getting to wave 50 is going to be quite the task, I think. <laughs> yeah. Kind of got a bit of an idea here. I just want to see if it works. Oh, that was a really bad hit there. What about, what about this? Where does this launch us? Oh, oh, okay. So, intriguing. There is no height um, limit on this circle. I kind of thought there would be. We can go infinitely up, which means stuff like this is pretty good. Right. Hmm. That last run was really good for healing, so it's a bit of, bit of an annoyance to uh, have to say goodbye to it. How the hell am I going to get down from here without taking a ridiculous amount of damage? Let's try doing this. That did not work at all. In fact, that was just purely bad. Right. 
I think War Banner is going to be pretty damn good for us here because it should cover a pretty large portion of the circle. Damn it. Why can't I do this right? This is what... I, all I wanted to do is get up here. I thought being up here would be a, a pretty good safe zone for me. Seemingly I was correct. These guys have shields. Almost got enough money. Whoa, hello. For the Allo Worship unit. Wasn't expecting that. But yeah, I've got to say, I'm loving this mode so far. This mode is really unique, really fun, quite different than the base game. A lot more fast paced, a lot more difficult. Like, a lot more difficult. Holy hell. Is there another enemy nearby that I'm just not seeing? Oh, whoa, hello. Damn, stop moving so much. Got him. Oh, yes, our wall banner's up there. Nice. Uh, I'm going to take the watch for now. I know it seems like a weird idea, but I'm going to grab it. Yes, nice. Some of these soul boys. So yeah, it seems like we're going to get like different modifiers in each area. I'm not quite sure if this area has a modifier or not. But we've got this one where the, the souls spawn when we kill things. God damn. Three shots for that bad boy. Right, let's grab whatever this is. Definitely take that. I'm gonna grab this, Primordial Cube. And then I'm gonna throw another one of these down. Back up here. Double war banner going on up here. I think this is a moment where we can use our SMG. See, now we have a crowbar. We should be able to do a lot more damage. As you can see, we're able to one-shot those guys through their shield now. The Primordial Cube is essentially my saving grace. Uh, oh, you're down here. That's, that's what's going on. Yeah, definitely take the gasoline here. Like I said, we want AoE whenever we can get it. I just one-shot that dude. Oh, my God. Thank God I got up here just in time. There's three war banners up there now. It's funny. Um, I think I hope we feather could be really good here. Just to avoid fall damage. Oh my god. Ah, shit. The game screwed me. Oh god, this big guy's up here. No, 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 no. God damn, shit gets real crazy real fast in this mode. Fuck, I'm in... What the hell? Got a log for this dude. I keep trying to sprint while I'm scoping in. That doesn't work. Hey, that's nice. Reduce damage on first hit. I definitely need more healing though. My healing right now is in a bad spot. That it? That's it. Okay. I think a uke. Good old uke. We're on the move. Can we just jump on top of this guy? That'd be ace. Oh, we can! Okay, he does kind of move around though. I suppose we could just kind of chill. It's a little hard to stay still, but it works. Let's grab this chest. 
It's really annoying it takes an item so long to get uh, pushed out of a chest. Permanently reduce armor on hit. I really wanted that void thing there, but I couldn't risk it with it taking away HP. Permanently reduce armor on hit sounds good. Right, so we're gonna get fucked by something in a moment here. We gotta be prepared for that fact. Gonna stop just about here, right? I need to get a sort of sense of my surroundings. Okay, so here we go. Um, right. I mean, it's probably a good idea to try and get myself up there. I just don't know if we can do that. Right, so what, what we got this time around? That was probably a bad idea. I keep keep, remember, keep rem, uh, forgetting I've got a Herpu Feather. I can use it to save myself from fall damage. Hello, big boy. These guys have got to go quickly. Luke's doing a good job. Let's leave you there for a second. Got some more gasoline here, I'll take that. This is a pretty shitty area, I'll be honest. More gasoline. Okay, the gasoline is super useful right now. Taking out big swaths of these wisps in one go is really nice. Same with the ukulele, it's doing this very similar thing for us right now. Right, so my, my basically my idea is, can I do this to get on top of this? Oh, hello. And then that to... Nope, that doesn't really work. Oh no, it does! Ho ho! We've even got one of these, we should try this out. We've got a big chest here as well. Is that 50? That's 400. What the hell's in that? Is that a legendary chest? So one thing I do wonder is, can I grab all my items at the end? Or do I have to grab them all, like, one after the other? Because I'd rather stay up here if I can. <laughs> like, staying up here isn't great, because we can't really... We don't really have a good view on the enemies below. We kind of have to place ourselves in weird positions. Oh my god. The Lemarian, the Elder Lemarian got empowered by the little wispy thing. It's gone, I think. Oh no, it's here. Ah, oh, shit. I think I killed it? Is it dead? I don't know. Right, so let's leave the item there for now and see what happens. Because I think we've got a better chance if we chill up here. Like, again, I realise that enemies can spawn up here with us, but it's less likely. We can, like, chill up on high over here. Oh, thank you, sir. No, thank you. But yeah, we've just got to be careful of the enemies that are, like, down there below us that we can't actually hit. I'm surprised this character doesn't have any uh, inherent ability where it's, like, the longer range you are, the more damage he does. It seems like it'd be very fitting for a character like this. I suppose they didn't want to limit this character's abilities because, like, long-range combat isn't super plausible all the time. We are going to jump down. Gasoline is killing it, though. Okay, so we can grab the items one at a time. Yes, please. And yes, please. Right. So many Elder Lemarians. What the hell's going on with these guys? They can be one shot. That is good. War Banner has been super good for us here as well. Extra movement speed, bit of extra fire rate, I think it is as well. I think we take another gasoline. Gasoline has been so good to us right now. Having four of them seems like crazy. Like, look how much damage we just did to all of those enemies. In fact, let's, uh... 
I realized, by the way, that I'm not really using my uh, overcharge at the minute, but that's just because it disables me my ability to shoot for a long time. And I think in this mode, things come too quickly for me to really warrant using that. I should maybe switch over to the other version of the skill. I think the other version is like a freezing ray that doesn't disable your abilities. Maybe that'll be more my style. Yeah, this the, gasol the gasoline we've got set up right now is really the star of the show. Like we're killing enemies that we're not even seeing. Like even the SMG is doing a great job. Got it? Nope, it's not. Okay, we're getting some elites now. Now that's it, okay. Um, ooh, I think we take the, the knives. Killing enemy releases home in daggers. What the hell's this? Enter infinite portal. It looks like we have to. So I'm guessing this is now a new area. Like this is the portal that takes us to the new place. I don't know that for sure, but that's my assumption right now. Okay, yes, that, that is what's happening here. So now we're on wave 10. God damn, getting to wave 50 seems like it's going to be real tough. I feel like I have to try this out. Yes, heal our sprint is really good for us here. I've got both of those void bugs. We're getting some new enemies that I've not seen before now as well, which is always scary. We are so oh, what the fuck? Okay, we know to avoid the hell out of those that guys. A lot of fire. Again, as much as it's like temporary, I think the watch is actually a pretty good pickup. Because if we can keep it alive like we have with our other one, it's a lot of extra base damage. I don't actually I don't actually know how much base damage it is, but it seems like a lot. Crowbar, super good here. Gasoline would have been a good pick as well, but obviously Crowbar just means that we can insta-kill more enemies. I don't like the fact that this area is just like a flat plane with very little cover, though. I feel very exposed right now. I like to be, like, up high somewhere. Especially with these dudes that are, like, douse the area in fire. I feel like having a lot of these enemies about is going to be really problematic. Music's so chill. Yeah, we are doing 4,000 damage on a powered up crit now. I think that was 4,000. Either way, we're doing a lot. And we got these ceremonial knives now, look. So the knife will just like go over to an enemy and not insta-kill it, but it'll kill it quick. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think we take this. Yeah, Enter the Frenzy is pretty good. Just remember as well, we've got, our, we've got our Q if things get a bit too much for us. Our Q is basically our saving grace. Seems like just the same enemies here. We've not seen any variation. Might be just like an introduction to this area though. More than anything. I kind of want to test the, test the waters and see how much that fire hurts. But I'm kind of scared that it'll hurt a lot and I'll die. <laughs> I'm going to leave the watch and try and grab that when I, when our crab moves. If it moves in that direction. Okay, this is some new stuff going on here. Lens makers again, really good. I love the fact that my warband is like tilted on this rock here. Spawn with a random equipment that changes every time it's activated. Uh, monsters now have the brooch as well, okay. is a bit scary. It's always a bit concerning when enemies just like don't spawn at all because you know they're all going to spawn in one big wave. Oh shit, there's more. 
Okay, we're, we're getting a bit too close to co for comfort here with all this fire. Make sure we've got our powered reload set up. I love the fact that these knives stick around. So it means the next enemy just instantly takes damage. What the hell is this thing? Oh, it's one of these turrets. Okay, this is bad. These things do a lot of damage. Holy hell. I think extra sprint speed here is going to be really good. Increase speed by 25%. That's a lot. Okay, so... Let's just see what we can do without using our ability first. Our ability, again, is more of a saving grace. We kind of want to be saving it for when things are a bit too hot. Because, like, as, as you just saw, we cleared that wave pretty easily. Like, like I said, gasoline is just carrying us right now. So much fire. So much fire. The ceremonial knife, by the way, is just also so good. Right, this boss wave doesn't seem too hard so far. I don't know if it's actually going to spawn a boss or it's just going to be spawning a lot of these fellas. So far, it seems like a hell of a lot of these guys. Do you know what? At this point... Let's grab the watch. We've got enough money. Our first one hasn't broke yet. We're doing 1,400-ish on a crit, so let's see what that what that ups to. 1,800, that's good. Nice. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get moving in a sec. I think actually taking the uh, the old toaster, my bob, the old wall stealth kit, ten visible and low health is gonna be very valuable. Yeah, there you go. Okay. We do have a chest in the area here. Just remember... Tra oh god. We'll only be of one type, so they're all gonna be this. I don't think they can hit us here, so we can essentially, if they're all going to be this enemy, we can essentially sit here and filter them. And then just like, look at that. Boom. Kill one enemy and everything starts dying. If it's this for like every wave, we're, we're in the money here. Ah, oh, no. Wisps are made from a defeated monster, so okay. It's not the same every time. Oh, wait. Maybe maybe it is just this time we've got the Wisps. The Wisps should not be a problem at all, either, because we have um, gasoline to kill them instantly. It does seem like it's going to... Oh, no, no. There you go. We've got new monsters now. Damn it. I was really hoping it would just be them. It's so easy that it was just them. As soon as we get monsters that can fly or jump, we're going to be... This tactic is not going to work as well. That ticket is, however, working pretty well. In fact, the, the ghosts are actually helping us because they're creating more knives. But this this area is much more preferable to me. I've actually got like a little hot spot that I can stay in. Okay, unfortunately we have these rat things here, which I think for one can jump, but also for two are very, very hard to hit for me. Okay, we have the flying dudes as well now. Basically everything at this point is an elite. I think we kind of hit critical mass though. Like as long as we don't get one shot, we're kind of insta-killing everything the moment it spawns. Take another war banner just for that increased size. And like nothing spawning up on this little hill with me, which I kind of thought we would, but.
I keep thinking it's over, then it's not. Okay, they are getting up here now. Seems to be like only these enemies are able to track up here. Everyone else has no idea how to get up here. Stun chance seems decent. Let's take it. Okay, now we got a boss. So let's pop one of these out. That was a bad throw. I think I killed everything. <laughs> I think it's all dead. Yeah, I think we hit critical mass again here, didn't we? Oh god, I love the chain reactioning this game can give you. It's so good. This run's going on a little long, but I have to say I'm really enjoying it, so I don't really mind. <laughs> hey, big boy. I like the fact that I can burn the, fl the flaming enemies. Like, if I stand, like, right here, they get really confused and try and go back down the ramp. Okay, I don't know what this does, but I'm going to take it. Fires haunting schools when healed. Okay, that's good. Uh, right, so apparently it's going to upgrade our items upon going through this. I don't really know what that means. Damn it. Didn't realize there was a chest there. That could be good, it could be bad. I really hope it's not going to, like, replace any of my items, because that'd be terrible. It did indeed replace some of my items. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, you, are you kidding me? It got rid of all of my crowbars? That's so terrible. Okay, basically this has ruined our build. Like, as, as good as it is to get upgraded stuff... Taking away our crowbars just lowered my uh, my damage per shot by quite a lot. Like, and if, if it removes my gasoline, we're fucked. It's an interesting item, but for this, it's not good. I, I will say having five carabans, though, is, is pretty nice. But yeah, as you can see, our one-shot potential is nowhere near as good anymore. And if it removes my fuel cells, shit's going down. I'm going to kill someone. Guess I'll take roller pennies for now. I want my crowbars. I want my crowbars back. There's quite a few Luna coins in this area. Hate these enemies with a passion. Be very careful around them. They can basically insta kill me. I basically just have to start the chain reaction with those guys, otherwise I can't kill them. And let's make us a lot of fire elites. Fire elites are the worst elite. But we are immune to debuffs because we've got that legendary item. I don't know if fire burning counts as a debuff. I would personally count it as a debuff. I don't know if the game does. Because debuffing is kind of like being slow, not being on fire. Being on fire is more of a status effect. But then again, I still say it's a debuff. Mainly just because I want it to be. I should be using my cube more often. Because it's just... It's like kind of free at this point. take the high ground up there as well, but... I 
Okay, this is a, a call for this. That's so good. <laughs> Of course it deactivates some of our abilities, but it instantly kills everything. Oh, Will of the Wisp, are you kidding me? This could be so strong. creates so many knives in one go that like the next wave of enemies also dies. Pretty awesome. Like everything's still dying. Like I haven't shot any of the ones down there in quite some time. Are you in here? What are you doing in here, sir? There's a crowbar. Get that back. Yeah, I keep coming back at a pretty decent rate now. Everything's dead. <laughs> oh my god, that's the most satisfying thing in the world. Never had more fun. Absolute womboist of combos. I mean, I still think I'm pretty squishy and could die pretty easily here. Especially with all these green boys in the, uh, in the sky. The green dudes do a lot of damage. Lob on the cube down, I think. <laughs> oh my god. I think we could get to 50 on this run if it doesn't take away my items. If it starts taking my fuel cells and stuff, we're, we're gonna be in a pretty bad spot. It's kind of annoying that you don't get to choose what it upgrades, but at the same time, I get that it has to have some sort of downside. Really, that missed deactivated all of my abilities for no reason. Leeching Seed seems pretty good for us here. Okay, just start the chain reaction. Don't get hit by a bull. Basically, I'm trying to round up all the enemies uh, until enough of them spawn to where it's valuable enough for me to use my axe or needed enough, should I say. Probably now, actually. And then everything dies. <laughs> I think this is pretty necessary, just to, just to have one. Just in case. And by the time I need to use my next one, I've got another one available. Managed to take out most of these bad boys. The good thing is my legendary items can't get taken away from me. I'm not going to lose my ceremonial knight because that can't be upgraded. Burn all of these out. Charge her up. Insta kill them all. I just love the fact that we insta kill them, but then it kills everything else in the stage because ceremonial knife has so many knives and no targets. Gasolina. Da, da, gasolina. Right. I basically need to start off the stage by killing like two to three enemies. That starts the reaction. 
then from there, just kind of leave it alone, run around for a bit. Kill a few enemies here and there, and reassess. Honestly, this has gone really well. We don't even need to use that cube yet. This episode's so long as well. <laughs> Again, I might cut these down a little bit just to remove some of the, like, deaths at the start and stuff. Um, just to make it a little more watchable. Gasolina. <laughs> Gotta go with more gasoline. It's always it's always the way to go. Right, so something flying will spawn. Okay, no. Just you. These aren't too bad. We've got a lot of speed. The, the um, fire tornadoes are really good as well. Okay, now we use this. So mostly everything. Everything else goes with it. Easy kill things like wisps are the, the really good generators for starting for a nice kill feed. I think one of those will do us. That didn't go so well. This is a, a new crab boy. I've never seen him before. I do not like what he's doing right now. They seem to have all died. I think I just about got away with that. Is that the stage over? No, it's only spawning. These dudes. Fuck. They're really getting some hard enemies now. left now. Well, holy dickens, this is intense. So little space to move around. So much chaos going on. Right, watch our items this time. Actually see what gets taken away from us. I think this is deer, right? That's fuel cell. That's a fuel cell one. This is deer, right? We um, Oh, no, top of times. Block the next source of damage. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know what it means by next source. I'm guessing it's on a cooldown. Right. Don't you dare take my good stuff away from me. I will cry. Okay, that's tri-tip's fine. Don't mind losing a tri-tip. Goat hoof is a little bad, but with a 3D printer, that could be good. That's good. Ignite effects dealing double damage is insane, actually. Okay, we're good. We're good. We did, unfortunately, lose a lot of movement speed there, but it's not terrible. Right. We also... I, for, I forgot that we lost our herpu feathers. I need to go on this just to see where it takes us. Okay, good. I should need, need to make sure I didn't, like, take us somewhere that was just going to insta-kill us. Yeah, the the ignition the, the ignition thing, uh, dealing more ignite effects is pretty heckin' good. We only got one of those, unfortunately. We do have three regenerative scrap, which for green 3D printers will take priority, and we get three of them per area. I don't know how how they regenerate in this mode if it's per portal or per crab move. Some enemies up here that I can't quite get. Oh, damn it, I missed. Lens maker's going on. Okay, oopsie, did not need to do that. 
That's what he kind of saved me a little bit there. But. So yeah, we kind of got like a holy mantle effect going on right now. Game's lagging a little bit, but somewhat to be expected when everything is dying in an instant. I definitely think the ignition effect dealing double damage and lasting twice as long is helping us a lot. <laughs> Hello, Vagrant. Where's your crit spots? Oh, they're on your little tails. Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. On your little feeties. I guess we just take another one of these. The tougher times, teddy bears no longer do anything, so we don't need them. Look at that. One shot is all it takes. Yeah, see, we blocked that full hit of damage then. This green guy hit us directly and it did no damage. I'm guessing it's signified by that bubble around us, so it's reactivated again. Now, that, that's actually a pretty quick reactivation of the effect. Is there an item up on that wall there? Serious game. Okay, this is, uh, this warrants this. Oh, that explosion effect is sexy. It's unfortunately dropping my items halfway up the heck in I can't even get them. This is so this is so unfair. Why is it dropping them so far up the wall? I'm gonna try and get it, but Nope. That that that, that item's lost to the ether now, I think. These jellyfish are a bit scary, but they are going down very quickly, so I don't worry about them too much. I don't know why there's a bunch of enemies that keep gathering over here. Like, what are you doing, guys? Are you trying to go over there? Is it an accident? I didn't even see these enemies spawn. They're all dead. <laughs> right. Try again. So just click the item as soon as it spawns. Damn it. I can't click it fast enough. So don't do it again. I think I got it that time. Yes, I did. Okay, so now I, can, now I just got to run into that item. Ukulele spray right here. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Well, it's not ready for that. Okay, I I didn't even get a chance to shoot at these dudes. They just all died. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes the reload window is more generous. I think it's when I'm in this, uh, the, the war banner. The fire rate's affecting it. it. Must be that. The only thing I can think is logical. You watch, we get to, like, the last stage. Get to 50 here, and it's gonna be like, Psych. Take away all of your good items. Upgrade them into something crap. If it, honestly, if it takes away my gasoline, I'm so screwed. Crowbar, I thought, was pretty devastating, but it turns out they were pretty much optional. I didn't need them at all. My healing was a little bit risky there. Okay, it's when there's only big enemies that I start to have problems. Because I can't get the, uh, I can't get the, the sort of crit cycle started. Another bloody enemy stuck over here. Corona bubble's actually pretty good. Slowing effect, I like it. Right, crab's gonna move. I, didn't, I don't think it took anything from us this time. I thought it was going to, but it doesn't seem to have. God damn, these, these bloody flying dudes are a problem. Okay, our empty bottle just saved us, so that indicates we need to be much more careful about how we're playing right now. Um, 
We've got this protective shield, but that's not going to protect us from all the damage, just some of it. Seems like as long as we don't make any just hilariously bad mistakes, we've probably got this down. Which is why I don't want to take that, because I feel like that could be a hilarious mistake. Yeah, that was a bit of a waste of a primordial, primordial cube there, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is an attack I need to dodge. Fuck, that was so close to killing me. Right, throw out another cube before we heal up. That was close. <laughs> I, think I constantly forget about that attack being so devastating. The Vagrants are just not dying either. And I say that and they, they both instantly explode, but you know what I meant. Quail's Feather's going to be pretty good here for just jumping around a bit faster. At least we have this for cover. It'd be really bad if we didn't have this. I need to make sure I don't get frozen here. Getting frozen would be very bad. Okay, when one things like these jellyfish spawn is when we thrive. When we thrive. Let's get this going. He's dead, good. Killing enemies near him is basically just as good as killing him himself. Damn, that did not do as much damage as I thought it was going to do. This guy is tanking. Next wave. Think a bit more crit is going to be good. Oof. God damn. Okay, we blocked that good. Kind of got to stay calm until we uh, return, regenerate our shield now, though. This wall is like the king of kings. If this wall didn't exist, this would be going very differently. I'm not really able to get the spicy crits though on this. I'm not quite sure why it is, but I'm having a really hard time getting those like easy multi kills on bosses. I mean, it is wave 49 after all, but still. Okay, last wave. Boss damage is very, very important here. There was a lot of immunities there. I don't know what that was from, but... Holy fuck. The lag is intense right now. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. It's insane. That was very close to me dying there. How are you meant to... The fucking... What? I genuinely don't know how I'm meant to survive this. I can't see what's going on, ever. Right, let's, let's keep it cool for a minute. Keep it breezy. Keep spawning enemies on me, stop. How is there still even enemies spawning? What? We got so close. So close. That's really annoying because we would have unlocked the new, uh, the new class if we would have beat that wave. I genuinely don't know how the hell you're meant to beat that. That is obscene. I had super good defense. Rid 
ridiculously good offense, and yet I still couldn't beat that. They just kept spawning enemies directly on top of me. I maybe should have just, like, headed for high ground, but I was just afraid that, like, a wandering vagrant would just, like, pop off one of his big explosions and kill me. Um, yeah, unfortunate. Got to wave 49, but... I will try again sometime soon, I guess. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.